Hello everyone, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to continue the series on the non-calculator portion of the GED test by covering what's called PEMDAS, or Order of Operations. So let's get started. So PEMDAS, the acronym, stands for Parentheses, Exponents, Multiply and Divide, and then Add and Subtract. And those are really the order of operations that you want to take when you're solving specific expressions or simplifying expressions. And we're going to go through a couple of examples and show you how that's done. So the first one says basically calculate this expression, 7 plus in parentheses 6 times 5 squared plus 3. So we're going to use the order of operations to solve this and figure out where to start. So PEMDAS says do parentheses first. And one of the rules is that when you're in PEMDAS, you want to follow the order of operations for anything inside of parentheses. So we have several different operations inside our parentheses. We want to follow the order of operations. So let's get started. I'm going to drop the 7 down because I'm going to worry about that later and do what's in parentheses first. Okay. So in parentheses, we have 6 times 5 squared. After parentheses, the next order of operations is exponents. So you want to take care of that part of it first. So we have 6 times 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25, and then plus 3, okay? So now our exponents are gone. We, can st we still have parentheses, though, so we still need to take care of the parentheses. 6 times 25 is going to be 150 plus 3, okay? I still have parentheses, so I want to continue to take care of those. And 150 plus 3 is 153. So I'm taking the number out of the parentheses now because there's no more operations within the parentheses. So I don't need them anymore. Now, the next thing after parentheses is exponents. So I don't have any of those. And then multiplying and dividing, I don't have any of that. So I'm going to go to adding and subtracting. Well, all that's left is to add 7 plus 153, and I get 160. So the order of operations for this simplifies down to 160. Let's look at one more example. We have this expression up here, in parentheses, 5 plus 2 squared minus 9 times 3 plus 2 cubed, or 2 to the third. So we're going to look at order of operations doing parentheses first. And I have some parentheses, so let's take care of that. 5 plus 2 is 7 inside parentheses. I'm going to keep that exponent of 2. I'm going to write the rest of it out. 9 times 3 plus 2 cubed. Okay? Because there's no more operations within the parentheses, I can no longer need them, and I'm going to do the rest of my order of operations. So next is exponents. I have two different values with exponents, so I need to take care of those first. 7 squared is 49. And 2 to the third is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Okay? I no longer have exponents, so I can move on to the next part of order of operations, which is multiplying and dividing. Okay? I do have a multiplication problem here, 9 times 3, so I need to take care of that first. 9 times 3 is 27, and then plus 8. One of the things that I see most commonly happen with problems like this is people want to do 49 minus 9, and then whatever that is, take that value and multiply it by 3. But that doesn't follow the order of operations, so it's going to most likely get you an incorrect answer. Always remember to follow the order of operations. You're really subtracting whatever the value of 9 times 3 is. So that's really why it's, it's important to follow those. All right, moving on, let's see, I no longer have any multiplying or dividing, I just have adding and subtracting. And so I'm going to go left to right. The thing with the order of operations is you want to follow that in order of left to right as well. So the left part of this is 49 minus 27, which is going to get me 22. And then plus 8, I just drop down. Now there's only one more step left. 22 plus 8 is going to get me 30. And there's no other operations to follow, so this has to be my final answer. Remember, when you get to order of operations, or PEMDAS, use that acronym to help you out. Follow the order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract. I hope this helps when you get to these problems. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or you need assistance and you live in the Palm Beach County area, visit our website at GEDS.com to find a location near you and sign up for classes.